What's up guys? It is Chris Colbank back with another video. I appreciate Spiritually Fit Nation tuning in for another great one. You saw the title of this video. Today we are going to be talking about my first college football hit and I'll tell you what, it was a huge wake up call for me. I didn't realize what I was getting into until my first full practice with pads on. I hope that my experience helps you guys moving on to the next level, just so y'all can kind of know what to expect and hopefully be prepared. Before we get into the rest of this video, if you enjoy learning how to become a better student athlete, consider subscribing because that is what I am all about. I thought it would be cool to add an extra thing into my videos, which is giving shout outs to my subscribers. So if you want a shout out in my next video, make sure you comment down below and I'll pick one of you guys to shout out on my next video. My first shout out is gonna be to my boy, Alex. He commented on one of my videos. He plays football at Ashland University in Ohio. It's a D2 school. He's a fullback slash tight end. Alex, I appreciate all the love you've been showing this channel. And keep doing your thing over there in Ohio, man. All right, so let's go get into this video. To give this situation a little bit more of context, I would like to go back to high school. When I was in high school, I didn't have to worry about getting hit hard. I was the one who was giving the hard hits, man. I was laying the boo, man. I was laying the hit stick. Those of you that play college, y'all know what I mean. But once I transitioned into college, it was a totally different story. I was just coming off of a surgery that made me miss my whole freshman season. My first time playing in a while and I didn't know what to expect. Guys, before I show you this hit, I feel like I should let you know that in college, when you see those hits on TV, I promise you it hurts way more than you think it does. Sometimes you might see hits and you might think, man, I could take that or I would have ran that dude over, but until you experience it for yourself, like you you don't understand the amount of power that these college de like defensive players bring, man. I'm telling you, compared to high school to college, like it's a whole nother level of intensity. And I'm not kidding when I say that this hit happened on my first full pad practice on the first play of practice literally the first time I did anything in full pads this is what happened I'm just gonna play the video just I'm not gonna talk I'm just gonna play the video so y'all can see what happened So basically, you could see I was brought into motion and I went to run a sloppy route that I, I don't know what I was doing, but basically I ended up trying to go and catch the ball and the safety cracked down on me and I got the wind knocked out of me. And a lot of you might be thinking, bro, that did not look like a hard hit, but I swear I got hit straight in the ribs and I felt like I almost died. This is a perfect example of a hit that you might not think was that big if you saw it on TV, but until you actually experienced it, like, bro, I'm telling you, you are going to feel that in the morning. Maybe I just need to toughen up. It's one of the two, I'm not sure. Maybe I just need to get my act together on the football field, but whatever it is, it hurt, bro. And watching this on film, I was like, I kind of wish I got hit a little harder or at least the hit looked cooler I don't know cuz you could see that I was on the floor gasping for air I could not breathe and in the next practice clip you see me walking on the sideline with the trainer and she's making sure everything's okay and I can barely speak because I just got the wind knocked out of me but then eventually everything's okay and I, and I end up walking it off and I end up having a great rest of practice. Like when that hit happened, I was thinking, what did I just get myself into? And those of you that don't know, Mississippi College, the school I currently play for, is a D2 football school. And I'm pretty confident and can say pretty confidently that it doesn't matter what division you are, people are going to hit way harder at the next level. D1, 
might hit a little harder than D2. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not trying to discredit all the D2 defensive players that are balling out there. You know, and even if you're D3 or NAIA, like, bro, they hit hard at the next level. Even these past few practices, we had a scrimmage this past Saturday, and it seemed like every time I got I got the ball, man, I was getting smacked, bro. I was like, okay, I gotta wake up, and I, I gotta start putting in that work. I gotta start, you know, just bringing the intensity. Like, before it's brought to me, I gotta bring it to them. If you're going to any level, whether it be D3 or NAIA, I'm just here to let y'all know the coaches are going to see and look at your intensity levels. They are going to see the fire that you bring on the field. Is this guy afraid to get hit? Does he does he lay the hit stick? Is he bringing the intensity? That's so much of football, you know, is not necessarily how athletic you are, not necessarily how fast you are, but do you bring that intensity that you need at the next level? And those of you that are trying to play at the next level, I'm not trying to scare y'all, okay? Look, college is great. You know, I've developed so much as an athlete. And if anything, going up against better people, it's only gonna make you better, okay? It's only gonna make you a better athlete, whatever sport you play. So just keep that in mind, and I hope that motivates you. Keep on working hard, keep your head down, and God is going to take care of you, man. Just keep on grinding it out. And that is going to lead us into the scripture of the day. And I thought this really tied into the video for you know, me talking about new recruits that are gonna play at the next level. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman or not. Go ahead and be a leader. It doesn't matter how young you are. Go ahead and step up and do the right thing. This scripture is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. So basically, Paul's writing a letter to Timothy here saying, look, you might be a young church leader, but don't let that bring you down. Especially for those new recruits or upcoming freshmen, just because you're young, I'm, I mean, I guess I'm a sophomore, I'm still an underclassman. So I can kind of relate to this. But just because you're young, don't be afraid to step up. Be a leader, you know. Set the example. That's not only what the coaches want, but that's what God wants in your life. For real, man. I'm telling you the truth. So guys, I hope you could take that scripture and apply it to your life. Smash the like button, guys. Like I said, if you enjoy learning how to be a better student athlete, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to comment down below if you want to get a shout out on my next video. And Spiritually Fit Nation, I will see you guys next time in my next video. Peace out.